Hey, what's up? It's me, K3D, and I'm just going to pull some cards, just quick collective message. Um, while I've got some time here. I don't want to dive too deep into anything right now unless the cards are like, we need to dive deep into something. But yeah, um, I'm not going to go into dreams a whole lot right now. It's still like a lot. I'm recording them. Like I always record my dreams. Well, not always, but like I, um, for a long time, I've like here and there recorded, you know, dreams I felt like I should. And I need to like start recording them all in one spot. And I, cause I always just record them like some on my phone, some in this journal, some in that journal, some, and then I don't know where to fucking look for anything. So, um, some advice, do it all in one spot. I think once I start a new journal, I'm going to start a new one just for dreams and, uh, try to keep it all in one spot. So it's very difficult sometimes though. I just I have like at least five journals that are open at any given moment so anyways whatever it's just I've been doing recording them every night though I'm not usually doing that but I've been recording them every night for the last over a week just because it's I felt like I should be and yeah we'll come back to it later though we'll see see what's super important there but anyways Let's just get started on the cards. Already shuffled, already got ready. So let's just see what message wants to come out for the collective at this time. What message needs to be shared? You know, felt like I should sit down and pull some cards. So let's just get started with what messages coming out at this time. Dude, the sun reversed again. Last time I did a reading, um, I didn't show, I like ended up uh, redoing the first half of the card pool. But the first card out was a sun reverse. So it's sun reverse again. So I guess I find it interesting that it's like, oh, you know, I'm feeling the pull to pull cards today, but the first, the same message, first card comes out again. So it's like, I don't know if this is the same message. Maybe it's a change to the message, but let's keep going here. Okay, four cards just jumped out. I usually only take one at a time, but they all flopped out, came out face up. So I'm gonna take them. Normally I'd be like, no, I just want one, but these wanted to come out. We have the Ten of Swords reverse here, the Two of Cups. So we have healing through connection is one thing here. Healing through connection with others. If there's somebody close in your life right now, this could be a person, um, whether that's romantic, a friendship, a family member, even a pet, um, or whatever it is that you connect to, this could be spirit to, or if you like connect to spirit through art specifically, whatever it is, there is... Um, if you're not already doing this, take advantage of whatever this could mean for you and use that for your healing. Again, whatever helps you feel connected to yourself and to another. All right, that'll aid with the healing here. Um, and since this is something that will help with the healing, and sometimes when we're healing, we kind of like resist it just naturally, like the certain parts of ourselves are resisting it because they don't want to be healed or I don't know whatever um I mean there was a point in my life before my healing journey where I genuinely thought that if I were to heal then I wouldn't be myself anymore which is totally the opposite but um it could be something like that where you know if you're feeling any sort of resistance to the other um it's just you getting in your, in your own way purposefully or these parts of you getting in the way because they don't want to be healed away so just be mindful of that if you feel strong resistance it doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't be connecting it just means that um you really should be connecting and there's there's just a resistance because those parts of yourself know it will work with the healing so um you'll know but you need to sometimes just get quiet and sit with yourself and sorry the coffee maker is just being as loud as possible now it's almost done that's why almost done notice how it gets it gets the loudest when it's almost done that's something too like like with your healing even um or maybe other things in life like it getting louder and it flaring up and it just being more noticeable when you're nearing the end of it um so just because you know any of your pain or certain memories or traumas are coming up more than usual right now it does not mean that you know it's it's come back in full force or whatever. It's just, it's coming up and out. It's 
make as much noise as it possibly can before it leaves. So just be aware of that. Um, I noticed personally that I'll have like really, really like just terrible mental health days right before I, um, you know, feel really good because, you know, it kind of gets some of the energy out and then, yeah, I feel much better. And then, you know, kind of happens again, but, um, yeah, just because you feel worse than normal right now, it does not mean that you're worse. It means you're getting better, but sometimes you have to get worse to get better. <clears throat> okay. And then we have the page of pentacles and then we have the knight of wands reverse. And I want to get more on this here. Um, this could be you committing to like a flighty idea or like wanting to put effort into something that you're not putting action towards. Like, it's like if you say you want to, you know, you want to paint or whatever. So you go and you buy all the paint supplies, but then you're not painting. Maybe something like that. Um, but let's get more clarification. So, um, all right, but you know, when we're thinking about the cave, oh, and that's another thing. Last night I thought of, um, I was like sitting in the shower, I'm just kind of zoning out, and then I see like a keyhole, but I was like, a keyhole, not a key, because at first I thought a key, I'm like, no, I'm not seeing a key, I'm seeing a keyhole, and then the keyhole looked like a flashlight, and then made me think of the cave I was talking about last video, where it's like, you know, the light comes in, um, the flashlight is a tool so like you know anybody who's uh you know gone through therapy or whatever like you know that you have to have tools in your toolbox um to help aid you through certain times aid you through trauma stuff like that um it's like having a flashlight this whole time and you were waiting for the sun for example you know having the tool and then not using it yeah okay yeah there's a tool you have here that we have here and it could be different for each of us right this could be a fit like an actual physical thing that you have in your you know immediate vicinity that you're not using or this could be um more of just like a certain mindset or action you know you could take to aid you through certain processes but yeah it's like being in the cave the whole time waiting for the sun when really it's just like you had the flashlight in your bag this whole time and you could have used that um, maybe you forgot you had the flashlight. Maybe you were worried about using up all the battery of the flashlight. So you didn't want to use it in the first place. I don't know, but let's get more on this. And of course, you know, the, this is like a collective message. So the very specific parts of it will be different for each of us. You know, I know how this kind of aligns with me. Um, I mean, clearly this is, you know, a, kind of a, again, like a mindset, a healing type thing. Oh, and then we have the Three of Swords reverse. The Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Swords reverse. Literally, it's like, it's this tool to help you heal. Literally, literally that's what it is. I wanted to clarify and I got the message before I pull cards. And I pull cards anyway, and it says exactly what I was. You have a tool to help you heal here. And you're supposed to be, you know, using it, but you're not using it. And it's because it's probably part of this resistance here. You know, that part of you that thinks that once it's healed, it's not going to be itself or the same or which, you know, ideally you don't really want it to be the same. You want it to change a little bit, but it's like, I mean, I'm just going to use, you know, whatever. If, say it's like the little devil on your shoulder or whatever. And this whole healing you're doing is trying to get that off your shoulder. Of course, he's going to be resisting. He's going to be like, no, no, no. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, because he doesn't want you to dust them off right um it's like that you know taking a emotion a memory whatever it is personify it maybe that's something that might help like personifying what it is that affects you imagining that as like some little guy sitting on your shoulder who's begging you to not get rid of him but really he's like stabbing you while he's doing it and, and get rid of him you know of course he's gonna be resistant to anything that will help you heal because it gets him out of there, which is ultimately what you want. You know, like bugs don't like bug spray. You know, 
Um, but, and if you were to do what, you know, the bugs wanted, it would be to not use the bug spray, let them infest the house or whatever it is. You know, and then, you know, this bug spray is a tool as well. Just another example, I guess. Um, let's get a few cards for what this tool may be for us individually. Just, you know, if you're not sure exactly what. Let's get, I'm going to pull, I want to pull three cards, like one, tool one, tool two, tool three. And maybe all of these tools are ones that you could be using. Or maybe it'll just be different for all of us. You know, if you're not sure, you could pick right now one, two, or three. But yeah, I'm going to pull the cards first. So let's get the first tool. Just one card, please. I'll say them all at the end here. All right, let's get the second tool. Let's get the third tool. All right. And let's clarify the first tool. One card to clarify. <laughs> Do you see the way they're jumping out right now? It's kind of funny. All right. Let's get one card to clarify the second. And one card to clarify the third. like cat hair just like you know you have pets and there's just like hair always in it hair oh my goodness okay Let's get this and look at that more healing right okay so tool number one is this five of swords so the five of swords i mean it's like there's no like win-win like somebody has to lose here and in this card the person who wins is like smug look at like so yeah i won i mean but i'm thinking like sometimes you like maybe there is like a story that's supposed to be known about like right before this but you know he's really smug so we could be thinking like oh he's smug because he's arrogant and doesn't realize that you know because ultimately the card is like now these people won't help him in the future because he took their swords right like if there were to be like a i don't know why <laughs> pack of like hyenas um He'd be fighting them himself because these people don't have swords. But we don't know exactly. Maybe there was something beforehand where, like, they were trying to, like, stop him or whatever. Um, maybe this, you know, the fact that I'm saying all this is to remember what your story is specifically. Because, um, you know, maybe there's, you know that there's some people out there who view you like this smug, arrogant asshole. Maybe you, like, kind of are. Like, you're sitting there with all the swords. These people are no longer there to help you. Um... It's clarified with the three of wands here, like, there's, because there's, like, a lack, like, you can't explore something anymore. Maybe that's part of it. Ooh, I, I got it. Um, this would be, your tool is the fact that certain people, like, aren't in your life anymore. I would say, like, you can't return to something, you can't go back to something, you can no longer explore something. Um, maybe you feel, like, some sort of resentment about something like the fact that you can't go back to something or that nobody gave you an apology or whatever it is there's some sort of resentment you hold but ultimately um and you know it's bothering you because you can't you can't again you can't explore whatever this is anymore uh, maybe you wanted to maybe um whatever it is but that's what you should that's like your tool is the fact that you can go back you cannot go back to whatever this is you can no longer explore whatever this is which means you have more time and more energy for something else the fact that these people no longer want you around is a blessing okay like again and you know we have three people in this car there's three here yeah i think so if you're you know feeling kind of like down about something like you know i can't i can no longer see these people anymore you know again see it as a blessing like now you don't have to worry about maintaining a relationship even if say for example there were like two people or like people that you um whatever the connection broke off something happened and then there was another person involved that wasn't like fully involved but they were part of this group over here like you know if this is a family like oh i don't want to be with my family but there's a sibling or whatever um this could be an example. I may not be as uh, personal, but you kind of are upset that you can no longer contact this like extra person here. Uh, again, see as a blessing because now you don't have to deal with like the awkwardness or the weirdness of like connecting with someone while you have like beef with the people they're with. Um, 
So yeah, whatever you have like some sort of resentment towards right now, again, see it as a blessing that you don't have to worry about this anymore. Like there's no pressure to go out and, you know, find out more about this. So that's, you know, tool number one is, you know, you do have a certain power in the situation and maybe you've taken away other people's ability to fight here. Um, it's part of the card. But now they can't fight you, you know? Now that they're out of the picture, picture they can't... I kind of sound like I said bitch. They can't bitch about things to you anymore. So, again, see it as a blessing here that you're no longer involved with any people or any parts of the situation. Even if you miss it, even if it's like a town or something, but this town is full of these people... You know, again, there's a blessing here that you no longer have to be involved with this. That it's not really calling you back. It doesn't want you back. You don't want it. You don't want to go back. So it should work out, right? Okay. And then two, you got the Nine of Pentacles reverse. And you got Temperance. So this Nine of Pentacles reverse could be like... So this can be like a codependency, like, or not codependency, but like a dependency where like you have to depend on other people, like, because this is somebody who's like independent, has their own wealth, um, doesn't really, doesn't need a man or whatever. Uh, and then here it's like, this is somebody more that like has to depend on somebody. Maybe you're seeing this dependence as like a hindrance, right? I mean, I know that that's how I feel like I hate having to depend on anybody, um, like, yeah, I just, I don't like it, but it's a blessing. It's like, because there's balancing out, there's a temperance happening here. There's alchemy, right? Um, so this moment where you're depending on someone else, let it take the load off. Like, have gratitude that you don't have to worry. Again, you don't have to worry about something at this point because somebody else is helping you take care of it. Um, and it's giving you time to kind of come into balance with yourself and balance out other aspects of your life. Maybe you're like, Oh, you know, I'm, again, relying on somebody for this specific thing. But this just gives me more time to fix this other part of my life that I haven't had the time or energy to work on because I've been so focused on, you know, working or getting money or keeping a house or whatever it is. And now I can re rest and relax, even if I have to depend on somebody else. But this time is giving me a chance to kind of get my other shit in order, get, you know, work on the healing even. Um, yeah, so... That's your tool. Your tool is the fact that you're able to, and also, you know, got to be grateful, you know, that we're so lucky that we can depend on somebody else, right? Because some people, you know, can't, and then, so, like, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, so there's something really good in it. It's, there's balance coming. So, also, if you feel like, you know, you're in the state and you're not able to get back in the state, again, there is something happening behind the scenes here, so don't stress about it too much. Things are working. Um, yeah, because this is like the only major arcana in this part here. So there, are, there is divine timing at play here. Um, divine work happening, okay? And then tool three, we have the six of wands. So six of wands here is victory and success. So focusing on your successes is part of your tools here. Um, yeah, reminding yourself what you have done successfully, things that you are proud of. Um, even if you feel like they're old things, like we have the four cups reverse here. Even if you feel like these are things that happened in the past or like you feel like just detached from it. You're like, oh, well, yeah, I did that, but it doesn't really matter. Or it was so long ago. Like, no, you should still be proud of the things that you have done, right? Because they are still your successes that you carry. Um Maybe this, you know, focusing on the fact that you have succeeded before. I feel like if there's two ways, it could either aid you in like being a little detached from succeeding at certain things now because you know that you are capable of it and you don't have to prove it to yourself. And you could kind of like rest and relax and know that you're able to succeed at something without freaking out about it because you've done it before. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I think you just need to, like, show some 
like you are like showing gratitude for what has been accomplished what you have accomplished showing gratitude for yourself not just the things around you but being grateful for yourself and what you have done for yourself all right so i know these tools aren't like as much physical things as much as like just being i guess gratitude gratitude is like the tool the main tool here just being grateful that you know you're yeah even the fact that you're aware of the healing that needs to happen because a lot of people are never like will never have go through a healing journey because they don't see like anything wrong because it's just the way it is um you know you know they say like ignorance is bliss i would say up to like a you know a certain point but um yeah, so just be grateful that you were willing to take this journey in the first place, right? Yeah, remember your successes. If you feel like you're failing at something now, um, just know that, again, there is, there are things happening behind the scenes here. So don't stress too much. There, you know, there's always things happening that we're not seeing. Um, and just think about other moments in your life where you couldn't see like an end to something or you weren't understanding the purpose of something. Yeah, you couldn't see a way out and then look at where you are now. Like you got out of whatever this past thing was, you got out of that, right? So you have to trust that it's, it can happen again. Things, magical things have happened before, they can happen again. Um, yeah, so the message again, we're still like on this kind of like healing thing here. Um, yeah, you need to remember the tools you have in your toolbox. And then to you need to be connected. Don't let you know these things you're trying to heal from or, or you know just heal. Don't let them stop you from connecting because you would rather be isolated. Yeah, you have you have everything you need here. You know, we have Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Like you have everything that you need to reach this next finish line. And when I say finish line, I don't mean like the end all be all finish line. Like it's a finish line of this race and there's gonna be another one and whatever. Um, marathons, right? But yeah, you're, I feel like, you know, we're almost there. We're almost there on this part, specific part of the healing journey. Because, you know, you're always healing because there's always something else that, that happens. Even if you heal from everything and you're still alive, there's going to be something else to heal from. So, but yeah, there's not like an end to the healing journey. I think there's just like certain like phases or certain very specific things that are to be healed. So whatever you're working on right now, you're kind of like coming to the close of it being something that you need to work on. Um, and again, I feel like whenever you kind of heal something um to a point where it's not really a problem anymore you still have to be conscious of it because sometimes it could sneak back up on you or um yeah. yeah as long as you're just again aware you're conscious of it which you know clearly you know, there is a level of awareness but you just need to be aware of your tools which will be different for all of us you know the people that this could be another person that is you know a tool in your healing journey you know i was i was gonna say take advantage of that i mean don't take advantage don't take advantage of them you know be grateful for them don't take advantage of you know the people in your life that are there to help you and help you heal because a lot of times you know the things we have to heal have to do with other people and it's like you can't heal issues with other people without other people like you need there has to be somebody else there to like kind of bounce off of and almost like test yourself and your healing and yeah again just take advantage of everything you have around you at this time um again you have everything you need the there's you know a want there there's the um desire or like the will to put effort energy time into something there's just that little part that's like, no, 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 no. And you just got to not listen to that part, okay? Because that little part, I feel like, is it's really small, but it's it's doing a lot for its size. 
but it's just because it knows that you're about to get rid of it. So it's being extra loud right now because it's almost over. This part, this part is almost over. But again, only if you, you know, like if the coffee pot started making all that noise and I was like, oh, no, 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 and go turn it off. And it's like, you know, then it doesn't finish. I mean, if that's different for coffee pot. It'll still be mostly full, but um, yeah, you don't want to like shut something down right before because it starts making scary noises, you know? Sometimes it just makes scary noises. No problem. Not to say that the coffee pot was scary, but... I don't know, maybe it scares somebody, maybe something like that. Oh, and I guess I'll share like a few things. Um, I guess just a few little, whatever. Uh, Cause for me, sometimes before like certain, like big things happen, uh, fire becomes like a thing. And not just fire, but like fire alarms, like alarms specifically. Um, like I remember once I was like, I thought I heard a fire alarm at work and then like a few days later I I accidentally set off the fire alarm um yeah it was everything was fine but and then a big change ended up happening in my life like immediately afterwards I don't know if it had started I don't remember the timing of it but um lately I'm saying this because the other day because we live really close to a school the other day they had a fire drill uh it's like loud like it sounds like it's right here like it's crazy how loud it is because it's pretty far down so I'm impressed with how loud the fire alarm is um I, mean, I guess that it's a good thing right uh but yeah it's really loud that went off a few days ago and again it was a drill because you know like it ended after a little bit a short amount of time and then our fire oh my god you scared the shit out of me I was sitting on the couch and our alarm, like, it just did one beep. Like, it must be getting close to the battery being out. It has a beep since. This was a couple nights ago. But it just did one loud beep. And, it like, I jumped. It scared the shit out of me. Because I was not expecting anything. It was, it's right here. It's very loud. Um, scared the crap out of me. And then I heard somebody's fire alarm just do the beep, beep, beep. One time. And then it stopped. And then last night, somebody else's went off, like, three or four times and then it stopped. And I feel like these fire alarms go off all the time. It's really easy, you know, small apartments, smoke when you're cooking like, for them to go off. But just the fact that it happened like three or four days in a row. So I don't know if that's a message for you guys as well. Like an al there's an, al an alarm going off, um, something's coming in. Something's, again, this could be this like thing that needs to be healed or get gotten rid of. Um, you know, this little thing is being burned down, right? That could be like the the warning alarm. It's not really like a scary warning. It's a warning to the bad part, to the part you're trying to get rid of. That's what the warning is for. It's not for you. It's for whatever's leaving your life. Whatever's being burned out of your life. Or if you're like, say, a phoenix, right? Phoenix, you know, burns and then comes from the ashes, you know? You could be the one on fire here. <laughs> you're on fire. You're about to be. All right. Um. So anything else I wanted to share? Nothing else right now. I feel like sometimes I get like a lot of synchronicities. And sometimes I get like very, very little. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not getting like a whole lot. Like there's a few and it's mostly like, you know, I mean, it's like the fire alarm was like the biggest one. Like it's one of those times where I'm like, I'm not getting a whole lot of like synchronistic messages. It's really like minor here and there, but um, I think it's because there's, again, there's a lot of other things going to play, um, happening right now, happening at a specific pace right now. Um, you know, guides are busy, busy doing other stuff. Maybe there's not, if you feel like you're not getting a lot of messages right now, um, and you're used to that, don't let that get you down. Sometimes there's, you know, silence because there's other stuff, you know, they need to put their time into other things, not giving you confirmations all the time. So yeah, again, pay attention to your dreams, your visions too. Um, write down your vision. Sometimes I'll like have a vision and then months later, I'll see, like, I'll know what it is. And it's only because I write it down. So I've had a couple lately. I had... I did have one where it was like, like a chicken or something. 
like or a parrot not like a chicken but like a parrot maybe it was like a beak like pecking at my face and it made me think of the mystic mondays like rooster card which is like wake up call um so there could be a wake up call happening right now it could be something else um again it might be months before i know for sure what it is <laughs> And yeah, then the keyhole and the flashlight. So that's the last one I have the flat, the little flashlight. So yeah, again, you have the tools you need. Some and again with the keyhole and then the flashlight, sometimes the tools you have aren't like the ones that you need to be using aren't the ones you think. Like I'm looking at the keyhole, I'm like, oh, I need a key, but really it was like, oh, I, need, I have a flashlight and I should be using that, right? So yeah, think about that too, because sometimes. I don't know why, but I suddenly I'm looking at this and it's making me think of that health. Like, I don't think it, it maybe I don't know, but like, you know, the one that's used it, that has to do with health or medicine or whatever. It's making me think of that. Again, with the healing. You know, healing through others, healing with others. You could be going on a healing journey with another person at this time, too. Like, you and the other person are healing together, which can make it a little messier sometimes, but make it a little louder but it will all be worth it okay as long as you know you follow follow your own guidance here don't let yourself get in your way because i think that's really the only challenge here the only problem here is just you getting your own way me getting my own way you know 3133 three, three, i saw there all right um yeah, also pay attention to the numbers you're seeing at this time. If you keep seeing repeating numbers, even if they don't seem like they're, you know, an angel number is not only 333 or 1010, whatever. Sometimes it's just a set of numbers that you keep seeing over and over. Sometimes it's your birth time. I see my birth time sometimes, and that's always a little, that's an extra fun confirmation for me. Um, or it's like you just see a set of numbers. Like one I see sometimes is 813, for whatever reason, and then... You know, you see the number on its own, doesn't make sense. And then you see it, you know, five times in a few days. And you're like, okay, look it up. Use the Google machine, look it up, see what it says. Um, if you have any other ways of kind of looking uh, for messages on angel numbers, look into that. Okay, that's, yeah, I'm going to close it out there. It's a little longer than I thought. You know, kind of same messages as there has been, which happens when we're taking a little bit extra time to get through something, which... I am, and if you're here re resonating still, you are too. Sometimes it takes time, but um, yeah, we just need the message again. If it needs to come out again, I'm going to let it come out. And then I feel like each time this happens, it just gets a little bit clearer and clearer and we get like a new a new message, here, you know, each time, even if it's the same message, new little messages come through. So yeah, again, if you feel like you're repeating something or you're stuck or things get worse, just know that that's just how it goes when you're nearing the end of something, okay? It does not mean that you are going backwards. And even if you go backwards a little bit, sometimes that's new too. It's okay. Um, you know, some nights I'll be having a dramatic session <laughs> and I'll be like, oh my God, I'm at square one again. And then I, even in the moment when I think that, I'm like, oh, I'm at square one. I'm like, no, you're not. You are no, nowhere near square one. You're like way ahead of that. It's like sometimes it gets so hard. Like when I'm being dramatic and I'm thinking certain like thoughts where I'm like, oh, everything's over. I'm not doing anything right. I just like, like laugh at myself. Cause I'm like, you know, everything you're saying is bullshit. Like I was writing certain stuff down last night. And even as I'm writing, I'm like, that's not true. <laughs> that's not right. I'm just, you know, like I said, being... Just really like diving into the misery, but you don't have to do that. And sometimes if your self won't let you do that, don't force it, okay? You don't have to be miserable. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna close it out there. I hope you guys all have a great day. My hair is so frizzy right now. Um, what day is it? March 7th. Uh, the new moon is going to be on the 10th. It's Pisces at 20 degrees, which is a Scorpio degree. Um, looking forward to that. Springtime is coming up. Uh, March 19th this year is the spring equinox, at least here in uh, the Northern Hemisphere. 
full moon on the 25th at five degrees Libra. It's much easier when I write this all down on the calendar. Uh, yeah, and then of course other thing, planetary things happening, but that's what I have written down right now. And then I don't think Mercury retrogrades till next month, so. Yeah, that's funny. This was the first card I saw when I started pulling in. That's what we're ending off with, so. Confirmation of sharing the message, I would say. All right, again, have a great day, have a great week. Um, I think take advantage of the new moon here for like kind of looking forward to new beginnings here. You know, trying to clear that old stuff out, get clear with like, you know, okay, I'm clearing this thing out. What do I want to replace it with? Which we talked about too, replacing things with other things so that we don't feel empty, right? Or just like wandering around like, okay, what do I do now that I get rid of this? What do I do? Focus on that, you know, what do you want to replace what you're getting rid of with, you know, getting rid of fear, replace with more love, for example. It's like the easiest one. Uh, well, the easiest to think of. It's but easier said than done, though, right? Okay. Okay, I'm going to end this now. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.